Hi, Michael from Fleetio here with an introduction to user roles and permissions. The first thing to know is that there are three user types in Fleetio. There is always one account owner with full access to Fleetio. Then there are administrators who have full access to every Fleetio module and account settings, but certain high-level actions can be restricted. But the bulk of your users will be what we call regular users. You should think of regular users as having this composition. Some personal information, think name, contact info, and any personal details or attachments. Then their user credentials. This will be a username or an email and a password. Then their role, which determines the Fleetio modules they can access and the permissions they're given. And lastly, their record sets, or their vehicles, parts, and contacts that they have access to. So what are roles? These are groups of permissions that you can give to multiple users. The idea is that you can create reusable roles for common business functions. That way, if you need to modify user access levels, you can just edit your roles rather than editing individual users. If you ever need to tailor permissions for an individual user, you can also just make a disposable custom role. One of our strengths is that we have a comprehensive array of permission options, allowing you to fine tune each role according to exactly the access level your users need. As you set up your roles, you can read through the hints or visit our help center to learn about each option, but we did work to make this process easy for you. If you want someone to have full access to a Fleetio module, choose access level full. If you need to be more granular, choose some and then fine tune the individual permissions. Or hide a module from the user entirely by selecting access level none, a great way to trim down the Fleetio interface for users with a narrow focus. We seeded your account with some common standard roles, but feel free to delete them, modify them, or add to them as you go. They're just a guideline based on common user scenarios. The last thing you need to understand about regular users, record sets. These are a way for you to designate which vehicles, parts, and contacts a user can access. For instance, you may have a large fleet across several locations. Sets enable users to access their own distinct subset of vehicles, parts, or contacts while sharing their role and permissions with other users. You can give a user access to all records or fine tune a subset. For example, you can give a user access to certain vehicles according to a vehicle's group or its status, or you may just want to give your users like drivers access to the vehicles they are assigned to. Conditions and secondary conditions give you maximum flexibility here. Be sure to read our helpful hints as you dive in. So that's a quick overview on how user roles and permissions work in Fleetio. Be sure to visit our help center for more information.